so a laboratory is an organization by organization i mean that it is divided into various sections or departments in a way it is organized uh, by organized i mean something like the organs in our body so we have in our body respiratory system cardiovascular system which you have learnt in your anatomy classes digestive system and so on so uh, similarly a laboratory being an organization is divided into various sections or departments today i'll talk about uh, hospital organization and operation so we will discuss about how the hospital is organized in various uh sections or departments and what are the operations uh, hospital do by operations i mean what are the functions the hospital do or hospital does so let us start with uh, organization so hospital have uh, uh, a medical staff and a nursing staff basically as well as supporting staff uh, medical staff the chief of medical staff in a hospital uh, is known as medical superintendent and uh, then there is a position known as additional uh, medical superintendent or additional ms additional ms is actually uh, almost a topmost authority and additional ms work under guidance of medical superintendent under additional medical superintendent there are various chief medical officers and head of unit of various departments so this is the organization chart by organization chart i mean that the uh the positions job positions how they are organized they are depicted in a form of chart and that chart is known as organization chart so this is a kind of organization chart or organization of an hospital this is about medical staff so there are various chief medical officers which work under guidance of additional medical superintendent and the various cmos include cmo administration cmo security cmo information technology cmo biomedical waste and any other chief medical officer appointed by the hospital medical superintendent or additional medical superintendent so this is about chief medical officers which usually they do administrative tasks and there are other various uh, heads of department and under the head of department there are specialist and medical officers and under specialist and medical officers there are senior residents and there are then junior residents and uh, in a clinical department there are interns so this is the organization chart of medical staff of an hospital then come nursing staff the uh, top most position is of chief nursing superintendent cno then there is a position of nursing superintendent then there are one or more deputy nursing superintendent then there are one or more assistant nursing superintendent then comes nursing sister senior nursing officer or ward in charge they are usually in charge of various wards and under the guidance of the nursing sister or ward in charge there are staff nurses and other nursing officers so this is the organization chart of nursing staff of a hospital yes sir yes sir theek hai so now we we will see how the uh, entire staff of hospital is organized the entire staff of hospital or any other organization can be divided into supporting staff and line staff by line staff i mean uh, all those 
personnel of uh, an organization which are directly involved in serving the customer so let us first consider line staff so under line staff there are various departments so there are head of department then senior resident junior resident and technical staff this uh, for example a clinical laboratory of a hospital so this is a line staff then there is supporting staff supporting staff is not directly involved in serving the customers and customers in case of hospital are patients so the supporting staff include accounting staff they support the line staff actually administration staff which is present in administration staff handling the biomedical waste the staff which is involved in marketing if it is a private hospital then uh, housekeeping staff so this is uh, this category of staff known as supporting staff basically helps the line staff in executing the duty of line staff which is the serving of uh, the customers then there is a position of a quality manager uh, who usually works under the topmost head of uh, the hospital or a clinical laboratory so this is how the staff is organized it is divided into supporting staff and line staff uh, a little bit about laboratory organization laboratory organization uh, laboratories uh, organization the staff can be divided into uh, the medical staff and technical staff and the technical staff is organized as follows topmost position is of technical supervisor he is the senior most person then comes technical assistant then lab technician then lab assistant and then lab attendant so they the entire work of laboratory the technical work is divided among the staff basically lab attendant help lab assistant in performing various test and lab technician performs specialized test and technical assistant and technical supervisor they usually supervise the entire process so uh, this was about organization we will handle questions later then uh, a little bit about operations so i told you operations mean the various tasks which are performed by an organization so what are the operations of hospital hospital operations can be divided into outpatient department section emergency room indoor patients and care of critical patients so this is a a broad division of various hospital operations so we will deal one by one so first is outpatient department outpatient department is for those patients who do not require admission they are uh, uh, examined by the doctor present in opd and the doctor prescribe medications on the basis of uh, his diagnosis then the medicines are dispensed by pharmacy section then there is physiotherapy section patient may require physiotherapy uh, there are various uh, uh, services which are known as day care services and in day care services patient come to hospital go to the required section and get services and leave by usually by afternoon or evening and one such service is thalassemia day care uh, where thalassemia patients they come they are examined by physician uh, if there is requirement of blood transfusion they are transfused same day and they are discharged by evening then comes dialysis then chemotherapy radiotherapy services there are certain special clinics uh, like for elderly patients there may be grt clinic or uh, there may be like uh, clinic for joint and uh, collagen vascular diseases there may be clinic for diabetes so there may be special clinics which are meant for uh some specific disease or condition or age group then there is a vaccination room so all these services comes under outpatient department then there is emergency room so uh, 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 the first uh, uh, encounter of a patient in emergency situation is with casualty uh, room 
so there is a general casualty room where the patient is examined if required the patient is then transferred to specific department wise emergency rooms so uh, there may be uh, orthopedic emergency uh, or uh, ops gynae emergency or surgical emergency or medical emergency so there are specific department emergency rooms then there is emergency operation theater and labor room and there is also requirement of support services and uh, example of support services is emergency laboratory ecg service or radiology service which include x ray ultrasonography ct scan mri or other type of scanning as required so this is about emergency room services or emergency services uh, which is uh, provided by a hospital then there is indo then they uh, then certain patients they require admission they cannot be treated on day basis so for those patients there is a need for support services and uh, the um, uh, top most i feel is the kitchen services because patients uh, they are admitted they may require special diet so there is requirement for kitchen then there are similar to emergency uh, patients there is requirement for laboratory so then this laboratory is known as indo laboratory then there is a requirement for ecg or radiology services then comes uh, nursing support because patients are admitted they need nursing support they need care nursing care so we need the nursing staff for indoor patients then there are various operation theaters uh, operation theater for eye opta theater operation theater for uh, bones or orthopedic uh, uh, theater or operation theater or there may be surgical operation theaters then sometimes in case of death of patient we need mortuary services so these are services which are uh, required for indoor patients then there is critical care for critical patients we need uh, high dependency unit or intensive care unit for patients uh, of uh, heart problems we need coronary care unit or ccu so uh, the icu and ccu are basically Uh, for critical care patients then uh, under hospital operations certain hospitals they are involved in teaching also so what kind of teaching hospital can provide they can teach uh, paramedical staff uh, uh, paramedical students like uh, we teach uh, medical laboratory technology and uh, then uh, the hospital can uh, be involved in nursing teaching then uh, mbbs teaching or uh, post graduate uh, teaching can also be provided by hospital in various departments like post graduation in pathology post graduation in biochemistry post graduation in medicine surgery and so on uh, then hospital is also involved in epidemic and disaster management uh, so uh, the 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 epidemics which you might be knowing i have listed the uh, dengue fever epidemic swine flu epidemic corona epidemic which you know and disaster management by disaster i mean uh, there if if, uh, if there is mass casualty or uh, uh, problem when when more than one people is one person is affected by any event like a bomb blast or a fire or earthquake so these these are various disasters and hospital is involved in disaster management they they have a trained staff for disaster management so this is end of lecture any questions